because music is so ordered, actually, and music is also so... I, I love the fact that um, if you think of words associated with music, the, the most powerful one is resolution. You know, you, you have a, a, a harmony, ensemble. It's all about unity and it's all about things that meet together because they want to. And, and even I, dissonance. Yeah. Yes, in fact, because because um, actually it, it's kind of mu music is a has a beautiful way of showing us that that actually cause and effect. You you don't have dissonance without consonance. So in fact, one affects the other. It's like having something that's high and something that's low. They they. Um, you don't have one without the other, so you have to have that that point of resolution. If you if you have a piece which doesn't resolve, if you didn't know anything about music, you wouldn't feel good at the end. You think that's how I felt about all that music being composed in the sixties and seventies. That was now what? Well, exactly. Let me out. <laughs> yeah, you're right because it must have been a reaction to something that caused it. Actually, I guess. Yeah. But, but, but you it, know, I, I, I have, I've been told by, I, I had the privilege of, of working and working within the Indiana University School of Music for a number of years. And I, so I heard lots of bits and pieces from people I really respected, world famous, this, that, and the others, <laughs> musicians. Yes, <laughs> Forgive yes. me, I didn't mean yeah. to realize that. <laughs> yes. uh, and I was assured, because I would go to things, they'd say, well, you have to like it. I said, I don't like that. And so, so finally somebody said, Paula, don't worry about it. If it is great, it will last. Yes, yes. If it is not great, it'll disappear. Yes. Is that right? I'm, I'm sure that's right. Because there's a kind of universality about some music that, that you know, we can't be without it. And, and, that, and it shakes down, I think. It, it finds its own place. But I think if there's a balance of, of the... Um, perspective that the music is trying to present that that has the ability to translate over periods of time. I, I've i worked a lot with young people, particularly in the United States actually, and I love it. Um, and I, one of the things that I've loved about working with young people is that they're, they're, they're not judgmental in, in, because that that aren't necessarily the points of reference that you have when you become more experienced. And the reality is, in certainly in the children's choir world, a lot of the music that people sing is, um, is contemporary. It's written over the last 10, 20 years. And, and um, occasionally a choir will sing, you know, the Contique de Jean Racine of Foray or something like that, but, but very rarely. And this girl, Lovely girl came up to me at the, the after a concert one time. She said, "I liked your piece." She said, which I thought I said, "Oh, thank you very much." <laughs> she said, "But oh," she said, "the other week we sang a piece by a guy called Vivaldi." She said, "Do you know him?" <laughs> <laughs> and I, th I thought, <laughs> for me, that was that was glorious yes. because she thought that he was living. Oh, that's wonderful. And you, and you think. Be, because Do you that, know him? <laughs> yes, exactly. She thought that 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 music was fresh as a daisy. Yeah. 